When you have to find additional literature for writing a paper or a thesis, you need to consider a few things. Start by defining your needs. So, for example, what kind of material do you need? Where can you find these resources? And which search tools would be useful for that? But also, which keywords would best describe your subject? The challenge with subject searches is to come up with keywords that best describe your field of interest. Try to think about different synonyms, spellings, and abbreviations. You can also look in encyclopedias or articles within your field to get tips on useful keywords. Or look in databases and see which keywords have been used to describe an article there. What language should I use when searching? Well, that depends on the context. Sometimes you might be able to search in Swedish, Spanish or German. But English is often the best option if you want to search for international scholarly articles, since most scholars publish in an international forum. The subject databases usually have search features that will assist you in different ways. I'm going to show you an example from the database SAS Index, which is a major database covering sociology, as well as social work, gender studies, and other subjects within the social sciences. In SAS Index, it's possible to search within the database subject terms. The subject terms are added to the articles to describe the content. They're gathered in a list of control vocabulary, which is called a thesaurus. In the list, you can see which word out of several synonyms you should use when you search for a specific concept. There are also suggestions for more general or more specific words you can use within the same subject. No matter where you search, try to combine your keywords in different ways. Sometimes you might be using concepts that are too wide, give me too many search results. Or you might be using concepts that are too specific, or too many words at a time. That might give you just a few results or none at all. So, try out different combinations, add and subtract words, and just experiment and explore. In most licensed databases, like LibSearch or SAS Index, you can use different limiters to narrow down your search. You can add subject terms, search within a specific time span, or search for peer-reviewed articles. This means they've been reviewed by other researchers within that field before being published. To make smart searches, you can use different search techniques to make your searches more efficient. One way to do this is to use truncation. It's a way of expanding your search by typing the root of the word with a truncation symbol. This will give you different endings to the word. For example, if you type the word employ with the truncation symbol, it will give you employ, employed, employees, and so on. Another useful tip is to use a phrase search. It's a way of narrowing down your search, making it more specific. By putting words within quotation marks, you'll search for multiple words in a certain order. It's great when you're looking for a specific concept, and not just two words with no relation to one another. So, for example, if you search for the concept European Union and put it within quotation marks, it will give you the exact concept of European Union, and not just European and Union separately, found anywhere in the text with no relation to one another. You can also combine your keywords using the Boolean operators, AND, OR, OR NOT. You do this either to make your search more specific using AND, OR NOT, or make it wider using OR. AND is usually implied in most databases, like LibSearch or Google. You simply type the words with the space between them in the search box. OR and NOT can usually be typed in the search box or chosen from a drop-down menu. To get further search tips and links to guides and tutorials, please visit our subject guides on the library website.